So, uh, so, so, what do you guys want to do inside of this room? Oh. I want the rogue to pick do. that lock. Send the dwarf uh, up the stairs. You want to send the dwarf up the stairs? The dwarf will go Unless up you want the me to pick the lock. Oh, I, yeah, go up the stairs. I want to see if the. Okay, so uh, Garthok, you're walking up the steps. Yeah, and then I want to oversee the room, see okay. if there's any patterns. So as you walk slowly up okay, the so stage, cool. you start to see trees. What the f? They seem to be uh, potted or or planted. Oh, oh that is. That's and they, but they are. Some of them are potted and planted, and some of them are actually planted into what seems like sod that was brought in and draped. And it's a bit of an um, an arboretum. Uh, space, um, and uh, you see in the darkness several shadows moving through or and around the trees, like dark figures <clears> moving <throat> in around. Does the trees. my uh, dark vision? You have dark vision. That's right. Yeah. The humanoid figures. Humanoid figures. Right, and they seem to be. Are they shorter or taller than me? They are taller than you. All right. And they're they have they're like have um, wiry curly hair, and they look human. Jewish. You know. <laughs> um, uh, they have wiry, curly hair. How many do I see? Uh, eleven. Eleven? Mm -hmm. It's a big Murder, room. Murder, Murder. I slowly Murder. back Murder. away. Slowly You're, you are dressed turn. like them, though. Oh sure, yeah. You just run into three people and you murder them. But the eleven people, oh, well, I'm gonna back away. I'm by myself this time. By the way, Don't this is an open us. ledge, and you're looking down into the space. So oh, it's like oh, you're observing oh. it. Oh. Like you're, oh, like you're so looking. So they're not on the same level as me. No. Oh. You're no. looking, you're you're looking down. Like, so you're, like so for example, if you're like uh, 10 feet up, it's almost mm -hmm. like you're, I, I'm going to use the analogy. Well, maybe it'll make it too clear. Right. But it's like you stepped up, and you're looking down into an exhibit. Got it. OK. Ivan just gave us a clue. Oh. It's a museum. A what? Me what? A zooium. Zooium. I'm sorry, we don't know what that is. It's a zoo. It's a zoo. So a menagerie. It's a menagerie. Oh, it's a menagerie. No. Are you it's gonna tell them what you saw inside uh, of there? It, well, let me. I haven't been seen, right? Mm. But it doesn't matter. No. No. Well, you saw you saw a bunch of of heads look up, but that's about as much. As you were able to do, and I can't see like what they look like. They're just shadowy. They're they are dark. They are they are tall, um, naked, hairy people who are slightly hunched down, like they're not standing up straight. They're they're <laughs> slightly hunched over, and occasionally they use their hands to move across the uh, terrain. Neanderthals. Yeah. Do they look like Hope? No, they don't look anything like Hope. Like Hope's so much more attractive. Uh, the middle and that's step the between only, that's, Hope and Garthok. That's the only thing that. <laughs> that's the only thing that's in that room. Is just an overlook of yeah, this. and a oh, lot man. of trees and space. I bet there are a space. lot of. You know what? I bet this is a zoo, and I bet the creatures get even more heinous as the as the levels go. Up, it's, it's a menagerie. Uh, so I go back. Uh, I go back to Ooh, the group and like, hey guys. Go look at that thing. <laughs> Go up those stairs. I can't describe it very well. Um, oh, I'm going to opt not to because my stealth is not good. I don't think you need stealth. Oh, OK. Well, I'm going to go sure. up there. Going up there? Going yeah. up there? Yeah. Going up there? Uh, I'm going to Hopefully, there's behind. an exit. So. Lay a little behind. So that you two go up, and you see the terrarium, the uh, arboretum-y, like a uh, I, I, I wanted to say the right word. I keep missing it. A zoo. Menagerie. No, it's like it's, it's when you have a, a, a topography of different Arboretum. trees. Yeah, yeah it's, it's an arboretum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Of various plants and tree materials with several figures milling about it, curiously looking up at you. Hmm. Like your god. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, you're Oh, god. one of them, because okay, you're all in cloaks, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Several of them start lopping over and start looking up at you and start looking at the inside of the cage while a lot some of the bigger ones and yeah they are they are naked wiry so they they don't just stare at you now that they notice you they're coming up to the gate they want food. and they seem to be waiting at the gate some of them are putting their hands through it like holding on to themselves as they're grabbing the bars you know and um, they seem to be uttering various grunts and other uh, I think I should talk to themselves so <laughs> they're yeah. trapped here too please don't I won't. I won't I really want to as well um, Seriously, the two worst people to go look at these things. <laughs> <laughs> Garthog's like, they oh, they're going to want to free them now. No. 
Okay, so, so I'm not a smart th man. Thank you. No, we don't want your pies, and we. <laughs> <laughs> Is there? Are, are we done here? Yeah. 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 All yeah let's, keep, let's keep going. Let's okay. keep. Let's right. keep moving. There's no exit right. here. So not I'm feeling moving. any particular need to uh, to. Actually, you'd be the only one who would pick the lock. At this oh point, yeah, right? that's what I was. I was. Oh I wait, was waiting. no, don't pick that lock. <laughs> yeah, wait. Are you Bro, still don't do pick it? that lock. It's you, up to you, you Spud. You were upstairs when that was oh. happening, so technically, there's no way you could stop him. Oh, uh, Garthok was upstairs when you were trying to pick the lock. Oh, no, he, he, but he came back down. I mean, I, I mean, I, I didn't pick the lock while he was while he was away. Okay. No, no, no. Garthok's not on the way. I, I have a very compelling need to pick the lock, but I'm not an intelligent man. Spud, but Spud, dwarf. Would you like to pick the lock? No, I don't want to do it. Okay. I was only because this this a hole asked me to do it earlier. He doesn't want to do any work, really. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. So, so as a collective, everyone's leaving the space. Mm. Yeah, uh, at least the stairs. What about and then that was the lot. Yeah, there, there's the only there is. You do notice that um, there is in Garthok. You see it that there is like another door, mm -hmm. but it's not a door. It's an open arch. It's like an archway that seems to lead into another space beyond. The Arboretum space. Uh, you did actually, Garthok, as you were looking inside of that open space, you did see there was another Sorry, larger yeah. open arch Sorry. archway okay? that doesn't look like there's a lot of, um, like there, there people are coming in and out of it because your dark vision is really good. Oh. Um, but there's just another open space at the far, far, far end of the is it, uh, when we were When I was up there, is it just a ledge or is there a catwalk? Around. There was no catwalk. This is the this is the equivalent uh, of the catwalk. So okay. Yeah. So we're we're in behind the scenes Disneyland right now. Mm -hmm. Oh. I love Space Mountain. Can we walk? Oh, All right. Yeah. All right. Let's keep moving. Thanks. You guys you guys got some territory to cover. So you go back and then there's only one more door in that initial opening area. All right. All right. So, right is right. Right is right. So you walk in through and the first thing that you notice as the door opens is the line of torches. And the velvet-covered um, stairway, or not stairway, uh, 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 rug uh -huh. that leads down with several pictures and, um, and a, a running placard of ruins that go all the way down the hallway. So, oh, oh. And it's a straight shoot. I will uh, take a look at the ruins, see if I can uh, decipher what they say. OK. Um, interestingly enough, uh, you can't read it. Really? Mm -hmm. Even but you it's, it, it's, it. Is it dwarven? It's dwarven. It's dwarven. Yeah. Mm. You have to work now, so. What? I, I, uh, <laughs> I speak dwarven. You speak dwarven? Yes. Well, oh, yeah. read it. I didn't know that. Yeah, but you, you, if he can speak it, he can read it. So, yes, yeah, so you both can read it. It's dwarven. I it's know. poetry. Oh, ah, good, down. good old-fashioned dwarven poetry. <laughs> and it's what po is this rock I see I before hope. me? <laughs> it's very, it's very upscale. Uh, for and that's the first thing you notice that it's, it does not sound like dwarven poetry. It sounds like something that you would read. It's like an elf in like a seventh grade poetry class. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's pretty. It basically is the it is the the it is a rambling tale of the pursuit of knowledge. Also, not something dwarves are very right. Does, well known for. So it's about yeah. it's again it's about thirty feet down and it's a it's a is long it, hallway. Is, is the dwarven over the pictures? No, it's on the ridge. The ridge. Uh, while the paintings are through. What do the paintings look like? Paintings are all um, stuff that you've never like seen before. Can I touch one of these paintings? You want to touch one of these paintings? I want to touch one of these paintings. Oh, okay. God. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. Oh, hold on. Oh, you said it. God damn it. All right. As you run your hand, <laughs> you observe one of the fine paintings, which looks what like. Is, what does it look like? It looks like, a, it looks like a tall woman who has her hands crossed in front of her okay. and is staring with a slight smile in front of you. Mona Lisa? So there is. Uh, Lisa also, Lisa. as you touch it, you see small green gas start to come out from underneath it. You. Of a wonder what it smells like. And it starts to peek throughout some of the other portraits as well, too. Oh. Guys, Charge. guys, guys. Charge. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yes, idiot. Son of a bitch. You moron. Okay. Um, you guys run? Yes. yes. Run. You, okay. Sure. So, um, agile feet don't fail me now. <laughs> okay. So, as you run, the gas starts to like pour. And, and push up on itself as it lifts up in front, and you guys start to hack and cough, make fortitude saves, all of you. Oh, dear. Ah. 
that smell good. Is this an enchantment? Oh my no, gosh. It's not an enchantment. 23. Oh, oh Quick copy, uh, man. What am I going for here with a fortitude check? Jeez, I... all of us are just terrible. <laughs> we all die. Hold on. I got um, a three, three, Adventure four, over. One. <laughs> uh, I have 10. It minus 10. Mine is like eight. Oh, but it's plus, it's, yeah, it's plus two. For okay, so uh, how much, what did everyone get? 23. 23. Really? Yeah. Eight. 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 Three. Three. Ten. Ten. Eight. Okay. So, <laughs> Denida holds her breath as she bolts down it, and you guys start breathing in noxious gas as you're gasping for air. And I turn around and go, that, that was close, right, guys? And just our bodies are right there. <laughs> <laughs> and Denida, you managed to, um, How's Hope doing? You managed to, oh, how, Hope. Oh yeah, Thank Hope's got to, he's got to roll. Um, or is Hope keeping watch outside? Yeah. With Mr. No, Pickles. he was, he's definitely with us. He's 11. Oh, Mr. Pickles away. <laughs> No, I'm trying to sense them. what Mr. Pickles is warning me about. <laughs> Talk to me, Pickles. <laughs> Guide my blade. <laughs> so every, first of all, everyone except for Denida takes seven damage. Seven. Only seven. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill my damage, ape. Damage, girl. Seven. Uh, I'd like to point out this time that I'm a new player, so <laughs> I forgot to check for traps. <laughs> So oh, I, yeah. I just it wanted happens to, to everybody. I just wanted to touch something real. You guys. <laughs> You're not really good at real. checking for traps anyway. Yeah. Well, no, he, he's very good at it. He found it. I That's found true. traps. That's I true. Found how, how are we looking for hope? Technically, that is what we send Garthok in to do. Um, hope died? Roll no, hope died. I mean. Roll d20 at his con mod. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and roll a d20 for now so we can keep, keep it going. Okay. Nine minus seven. Okay. Okay. Oh, but it's, it's level three. That's fine. It, if even if I okay. say if I add a plus three modifier to it, I don't think it would be enough. Okay. So, um, so hope takes seven points of damage as well yeah. too. So, um, you guys make it tonight. It, she manages to grasp the door and swing it open, and um, you guys stagger through. Oh, as, as you start to feel your lungs begin to burn from the ache <laughs> that is inside of there, and you slam the door. Behind you, I'm assuming, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And um, you're going to take another. Ooh. Jesus. 10 damage. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh but not me, right? Everybody's not you. Everybody's dead. Um, uh, I'm going to uh, take, a, take my uh, Cure Light Wounds potion. Okay. <laughs> that I have. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jesus. That's a 1d8. Plus one per level. Okay. One D eight plus one per level. So that's all right. Eight. So, um, anyone else? Oh well, you're all in the door. So you open the doors open, and um, you reach into a very luxurious study. It has a roaring fireplace. So it has a couple of open tables that have books laid out in front of them, and it seems to have several bookshelves um, lining different parts of the wall. And um, a and like a, a, a small bar that has uh, various um, entertaining amenities, drinks um, oh, behind Garthok, it. Garthok, no, 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 no. no. Oh, is there any wine for? <laughs> I want to go ahead and cast. Uh, who, how much? Uh, how much damage have you taken? Oh, uh, just most of my hit points. Most of yours? Because um, you're really messed up. Yeah, I'm. I'm at six. All right, I'm going to cast. Cure moderate wounds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly feel the light of your God wash over me. Uh -oh. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Kinda. Oh, oh it oh, burns so good. Okay, so that's one point. That's eight. Okay, that's nine. <sighs> 10, 11, 12. And I'm a healer than normal. So get 13 hit points back. Oh, God points. bless you. Uh, Whatever God you have. That blesses people. Bless that here? God. Who else? Uh, should be here? I, I I'm believe. at 13 okay. out of 30. You're at 13 out of 30? I'm at 12 out of 21. Hope's uh, at 16. Okay. I can, I can do one more cure moderate wounds and a few cure light wounds. I'll do a moderate one for the rest of my life. You for the and damage sponge. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So for you. Right, so what, what we're doing is, is Mason's taking an opportunity right six, now to six, heal up six, the party eight, from all the noxious gas. Does Hope deserve anything? From all the noxious gas that they just consume. Okay, no, 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 okay. So uh, this is essentially, he's serving his role right now as healer to kind uh, of. Take eight hit points. 
and enjoy those. So. Then bring things back up to normalcy Don't a little joke bit. Me. So, but at the same time, he's burning a lot of spells oh, for this. So many spells gone. So many so spells. Many spells. So we'll see. What it's happens. okay. I'm almost. I'm almost all here. I'm glad that I could yeah. do this for you guys, okay. so you could learn. So guys, we're gonna <laughs> take a quick a break. And we'll come back and see what the study or the rest of the Zogarot has to hold for our players as they continue to dive deeper and deeper and deeper into it. Sounds like the cleric's burnt a good portion of his heal spells to. Uh, yes, yes. I thought I had more heal spells. Okay. Dungeon we'll Master is super happy. I got yeah. channel energy, it which wouldn't, allows me it to. It wouldn't be fun if it wasn't challenging. Can I real yeah. quick, so. channel energy and just heal everyone an additional 3d6. 3D oh, so excellent. Did you, is that a major one you just blew? No, that is one of my clerical channel energy, positive energies for the day. Awesome. Three, well, I'm back three, up nine. Nine points, guys. Nine points to everybody. Oops. Thank Benefits you. Benefits of Thank having you. a cleric in the group. It's Pathfinder. It's you got to have one. Right. <sighs> right. So you we dieted. So you guys are in the study. Dieted. And again, as I explain, the study has. Um, a amenities in which has some spirits behind it. There is a nice, luxurious um, seating area that has a roaring fire that's mm. against the wall. And there also seems to be a large viewing port that is against the bar area um, that looks out um, into the center of the Zogarot. Is there, an, is there another door? And there is another door farther down that has, um, that's just, a, it's a simpler door. So it's not the open wide viewing area. It's similar to the door in which you just left. I'm gonna point to you. Yeah. Do not touch anything. I'm you gonna, got it, dude. I'm gonna stand at the other, at the, the end of the other door with my sling ready. Okay, at the, at, the, at the other door. The farther down door, yeah. Okay. I investigate the bar. And I'm, I'm listening. I'm not gonna touch anything. No. Uh, I look for valuables. No. There are many valuables. No. What is the most valuable looking thing? Probably no. all of the spirits and the goblets that are um, up in behind the bar. And also the very fancy looking couch. No. You know? Don't steal the couch. Get that couch out. You couch don't touch anything holding. either. I am helping the dwarf. I will put you to sleep. <laughs> For three minutes. Son of a... <laughs> Actually, I just want to look for I'm going to go uh, through that large opening. I'm going to go... Look at the viewing that. port? Yeah. Okay. I'd also like to look at the viewing port. All right, so, Cork, you walk over to see um, uh, a stone archway that has uh, several bars. It seems to have an open space inside of it. And it opens into a large, what you can, from what you can tell, circular chamber. Hmm. In which the most that you can see at the moment is just um, like a glowing, like a like a deep, like a deep well, that um, is uh, that goes farther down, but it's not extremely well lit, and um, you're basically looking at a tall pillar. What I mean by well is like there's a tall pillar mm -hmm. that goes up the ziggurat because since you're on like the ground level, it clearly goes up through the center of gotcha, the ziggurat. crystal style, right, right all the way up, and there is um, a staircase. That is that spirals through and up and around it. And is the gate That's locked? Like yeah, it's it's bars. It's like it's it's just a viewing port. Mm. You know. Okay. Is there anything on either side of this port that looks like it could control something? Yeah, starboard. Um, there's nothing particular. Like you can look around. Like if you want to like do your stone. Uh, what I is do. It? I do want to do my stone. Right. What is it called? Stone. Stone cutting. Stone cutting. Stone cutting. Stone cutting. Stone cutting. Right. Eight, nine, 10, 11. It's extremely well forged, mm -hmm. but it doesn't look like it's part of the original design mm. of the ziggurat. Right? This it looks one, like it was added there. This was added. So. I just want to do a quick. A lot of things seem magical around here, but I just want to see if there's any sort of like pinpoints of magic in so this you room. You want to throw up detect yeah. magic? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you throw up detect magic. Um, the fire seems magical. You know. Okay. Um, there is also uh, um, a couple of bottles are shimmery. They're like really super light. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and that's pretty much it inside of the room. There's nothing else. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's what in the viewing portal? What's that? I'll look out the viewing portal. Um, 
Yeah. Do do I see that that light that I saw earlier mm -hmm. when I was I was trying to check? check Is it, does, detect, does detect magic see through stone? No. It's just whatever you can see. It's a magical auras, basically. And the, the longer you spend working your detect magic, the the more you can hone in on what what that is. So right now I'm seeing just general, like the fire is giving me a general aura. Yeah. A little you know, bar is giving me a general aura. Right. There's a there's a but it, but uh, there's a large there's a strong magical presence that is um, coming from there, but you can't tell from where. Coming from the coming from the center. The center where the pillar and the st the stairs. pillar and the stairs are. Okay. Um, well. If we're going to get to the bottom of this, we need to get to the top of this ziggurat. Yeah, upper level joke, you see. It was dusted. So we so we have one door left and the viewport. What what are we going to do? Are we doing anything else inside of this study? No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy over here. Okay. I will put you both to sleep right now. So, uh, I your do how do you want to handle this next door? Do you just want to open it? No. Okay. Look <laughs> You'll look at it. Yeah. All right. Detect traps. This asshole. Uh, traps. Yeah. I'll detect traps. Hey. It's what is clean. that? Just perception? Five? Yeah, it's totally Thank clean. You. You're fine. Yeah, this is totally fine. Dwarf? I open the door. <laughs> yes. You open indeed. the door into a. Uh, into a very Fireball. large <laughs> open space that has six columns that reach up 60 feet high. Oh, yeah. All right. The architecture of this place makes no sense. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. And there is a large... Um, sense. Sense. Uh, sense. You're right. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and you notice that there's a grand um, staircase that leads up to another balcony level. Uh, that is uh, above you, as well as the, that this tall pillared space has several um, uh, uh, pillars, or small pillars, that hold various items on side of them. And they seem to be scattered throughout the area in various places. So, you distract the wizard. There's also, there's four doors, including the door that you just came out of. Are, are they, there any are they more large? doors? There are not any more doors Shut than what is in there. Again, four doors, <laughs> no more. One does not simply walk into more doors. How big are these doors? Would you say that they are giant doors? They are regular sized doors. Regular sized doors. Oh, um, except for the one that is not straight across from you, but straight across and farther down. That Wait. one has a much bigger door. Are they rectangular shaped doors or pentagon doors? They are arched <laughs> doors, Amy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, um, but yes, the, 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 the pillars, really the, the pillars hey. hold um, torchlight, torches on them that seem to cast a very um, glowing, warm light all across the room. And the, the floor of it is glistening tile. Shit. Um, well, what are the things like on these platforms? Do. do you go investigate them? I would investigate them. With, with my hands behind my back. <laughs> he just wants to look. You walk up and see various okay. items. <laughs> That's the best that you could possibly call them. Do They're they look like objects, weapons? You know? Some look like weapons. Some are Artifacts. simply a round piece of rock that seems to have three holes inside of them. Am I getting any sort of magical? It's a bowling ball. What's that? Magical uh, inklings on these items? No. Nothing. Nothing. I don't, think so. don't touch them. You There's know. no. Moving on. <laughs> can you look at it like? Can you? You can detect traps. None of us touch a damn thing. Are the, the pedestals? Are they stone? Pedestals are stone. Oh, I'm gonna stone cutting one of these pedestals. They okay. look like pedestals. And I'm not gonna touch it. Sure. Just I'm gonna just gonna look. look at it. I'm gonna delicately. All right. Go go look. Stroke. Yeah. What, what, I'll be stroking. What, 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 uh, seven, eight, nine, nine. So they're, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm just stroking my beard. 
<laughs> uh, you, you can tell that it's finely crafted, but that's is about as much as you can tell. Damn it. Okay. But your fingers Honey are now stuck in your beard Honey because the blood that's good. <laughs> Corey, it's how are you feeling about this space? Mm, I'm, just, I'm tired from all the, the spell casting, so I'm just kind of, you know, my, my shield and my uh, mace out, and I'm just staying close to these Staying guys. close. Okay, Spud? So what? How are you doing in here, bud? Whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's your problem, not mine. <laughs> this is all garbage. Yeah. So where? What are we? What are we doing? Are we investigating this, this area more? Are we going to try another door? Museum. Let's, let's try another. I want to try and get into the center there, where the pillar and the things. Yeah. Uh, the, the spiral staircase. You want to go up so the stairs? Yes. Yeah. Are we? we are we in study? that? We're in that room. No. You are in that room, and it is like a grand ballroom type of. Oh. Um, oh, we are. You know, stairs that lead up to the, it leads up 60 feet yeah. into the next level. Yeah. Okay. I'm going. Let's just ascend. Where is everybody? Okay. So there, this is a very large, this is a very in. large place for only having three servants. <laughs> okay, we, as you, um, maybe getting... five, because two of them left. As you, uh, as you begin to um, climb up, the steps. Uh, make a perception check. Oh, Everyone? Yeah. Everybody? Everybody? Everybody. Yes. Everybody? Uh, everybody. You're everybody. in the crack. Everybody. 27. Uh, everybody make checks. What? All right. 21. 21. 27. All right. So, Denida, your, you know, perky forest ears, your yeah. elven Thank ears, you for half elven ears, start to pick up the sounds of. Um, start to hear the sounds of doors opening and starting to hear the sounds of like sev took. several feet kind of slapping their feet against <laughs> against the dial. It, it makes the dice. Mr. Pickles? <laughs> it makes the dice. <laughs> when you hang on the table. Uh, but it sounds like wet, um, it sounds like wet, wet, uh, uh, wet skin slapping oh. against stone. Oh, so, I... I think there'd be weirder creatures on this level that have heard us. And also you hear the mild sounds of, of various creatures moaning and croning downstairs. Oh no, I hate this Let's place. Let's charge oh. forward, go up. All right. That's happening downstairs, we're going up, yes. right? Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah, it's all... But now that you're a little higher, what I'm saying is that you can start to hear some of the echoes I of see. what is going on oh, inside okay. of the oh, space, no, okay. all right? They're letting, do doors are opening. I think they're letting animals out or something. Let's up, up, and up, and up. up, up, up. Right, so you guys climb the grand staircase and turn around to look at the ballroom that, um, or the ballroom, the open room that has the large pillars that continue to climb up and finally, you know, end in a, in a high ceiling above you. And you realize that there are several items that are also being hung from that ceiling as well, too, that are now filling up the space in front of you. And the, um, the stair, the uh, like catwalk space comes around that space in which there are two doors at either end of the of of the kind of area. Jeez! And you see skeletons of weird, bizarre creatures that are being held up by these wires, and you also see odd, you know, uh, like it seems like oh here you would you would make you would make us make a stone cutting check or like a, or a knowledge a knowledge. I don't have any knowledge or anything. You don't have knowledge or anything. I mean, don't worry about it. You notice that there are weirdly, like stuff that's weirdly shaped, it's metallic, you know? But it doesn't look like any metal you've ever seen in your life. And it seems to be shaped into odd, um, odd shapes, you know? Like torture can devices? I, can I call on like my history or anything yeah. like that to call try and... No, what right. little knowledge that you might have of history right. since most of the history was... Was erased, erased. or whatever. Right. Oh, oh nice. Uh, it's 25. Okay. so. Unequivocally, you've never seen anything like this in your entire life. You've never heard of anything like this in your life. You've never seen anything like this in your life. For all you know, these things could be the only specimens of their, of their, um, of their type in this entire known world. I'm going to do some quick sketches on some parchment of, of these things, okay. just, just to have them sort of, you know, in right. my... One of them, so you sketch down, say, the skeleton of a large creature that has a long skull that's like protruding out and it has thin little tiny bones that seem to protrude from what must have been great massive wings at one point, like a giant bird. Hmm. 
So. Okay. <laughs> Pterodon. What? 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 Are you okay? I'm. I'm fine. I just. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Take some water. Take some water, man. Yeah. Oh man. Just. Jeez. Anyway, let's so, uh, so left or right? Right is right. Uh, right, is right. Which which way was uh, is going to be going towards the? The center is right in front of you. And but there was and this is that giant spiral mm -hmm. staircase that goes yes. up. Yeah. Let's do that. We can't go to the center. That's oh, yeah, that's not available to you right now. Right or left. Right or left. Right. And they seem to right. go towards one side of the ziggurat or the other side of the ziggurat. Right is right. Right is right. Well, so you guys you never go left. You guys. bank right, and you see well, like you opens right. up into a a nice. Um, an area that it seems like a nice antechamber, mm. but it also has several metal cages oh, no. that are lined against oh. parts of it. Some of them look like they're fresh, some of them look old. There's some that are stacked on top of smaller ones. Mm. All right? Here you go, that get in one, I'll take a picture. And there's a couple. <laughs> <laughs> What's a picture? <laughs> and there's a couple of, um, seems to be loose chains that are uh, in, in that area. But it seems to be very, it's odd because it's all juxtaposed amongst fine end tables and um, lots of continued pieces of uh, either displayed objects or this art. This man is, is sick, there anything, this master is uh, sick. particularly valuable looking? It all I'm looks. I'm tired of not looting. It's, it's, <laughs> it looks all, it's very, all of it's very well presented. Okay. You know. That's about what I can tell you. No. Does it look valuable? It doesn't look like anything you've ever seen in your life. Any no jewels? Idea. Have Precious jewels. jewels. Oh, okay, no. I'm gonna hold that for jewels. You could probably make a good good money selling a cage. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. Is there anyone in the cages? What's that? Put it on your head. No, the cages yeah. are empty. <laughs> they seem open, like they've been used. Does it does it smell like freshly, like there's animals been in there presently? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it smells musky, but yeah. it doesn't smell. It doesn't have an animal musk. Doesn't like too. a hot musk. Let's keep moving through this place. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I don't like what's going on here. So there is a, again it's another another a very um, a double door that would sit in front Dumbledore. of you. That seems to have uh, that seems to be next again next to where the cages are laid out, and it has several viewports that are closed that are on it as well. Yeah. Would you guys like no, to do? No, Let yes. us do it. I want to see what happens. Let's go for it, Garthok. Come on, Hold Garthok. the wizard down. You can't cast if you can't There's got to be something really How big are these view, viewports? They're like... like okay. That's, that's probably fine. Have a look. This, I'm going to... It's what they're there I'm going to open the one closest to me. Okay. This Sleep. Is <laughs> <laughs> Peer through. So what you see is a fairly well-lighted room that is... Um, one might say well-lit. Yeah. It has One several small half walls that okay. go through a center, um, a center uh, like a hallway with several half walls that protrude out mm -hmm. at various um, intervals, and um, it's very dark. It's a long build, long room. Mm -hmm. You know, it's difficult to see towards the other side of it. But there also seems to be a little bit of a reception area in front. Like so again, several several um, pieces of furniture in front before it goes into the long hallway with various intervals through it, so. I have a thought, what if this place, they, they use it to fight animals, like they pair animals together in a, an exotic way for fighting. That'd be pretty awesome. But what if we get caught in that and they put us in the ring? Ooh. Like it's a Yeah, that would be awesome. They'll have to catch uh, me first. Shink. Yeah. I relay all that oh. information. You relay all that information. Okay. Um, let's well, let's keep moving. Mm -hmm. Try to get to the center. Try to get to that spiral staircase so that we can get move up. So Garthok, as you close the viewport, mm -hmm. you and because you opened it, and as you start to shut it, you start to hear the clinkle of chains inside the room. Inside the room. Uh, there's something inside there. Close. The viewport. But Steve, <laughs> close it. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so are we one somatic gesture, and he'll shut up. <laughs> are we are we going around to the other door? Or are we going through this door? What's the plan? We're going around. Sure. Because yeah. you because you can go back to the other big oh. room. Oh, that's I right. We should just go through. I mean, what do we have to lose? <laughs> Everything. Yeah, let's keep going. We've got 15 minutes. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's go through. Yeah. <laughs> going through the door. Charge. So you open I'll, up. I'll take point. Yeah. And you see an open reception area in which there seems to be 
um, some, some stone tables, but also some nice chairs. And uh, oddly enough, there are several manacles, um, uh, ones that seem to be like, they're, like, they're distinctive of like um, hands and neck ones um, that are chained against the wall, all right? Mm -hmm. And as you walk in, uh, you start to hear the sounds of people talking in various different languages, most of which you don't recognize. Mm. Keep moving. So you're gonna walk down through the through as, as you walk right? as you walk down this hallway and you look, you notice that each cubicle has anywhere from one to three different people inside of them. Are they manacled? And they're manacled with again neck and arms, and they all stare at you Sorry, in guys. mixed confusion and recognition as you continue to walk through, and uh, and they're all dressed differently as well too. Do I, do I recognize any dwarves, elves, orcs, gnomes, treants, or nope, sylvan creatures? I just want to say I'm sorry, <laughs> all of you. I'm, I'm going to go start breaking their chains. And no, but there's a one, there. they're all are human except for one okay. cubicle, which has several humanoid looking people, but they have, but they have kind of uh, shiny skin and seem to have no mouth and seem to be very, um, uh, seem to be very like um, resolved and they kind of crawl on all fours and they'll occasionally like climb up to the side of the wall in the back. You recognize them as no other creature that you've ever seen. <laughs> they you look know. disgusting. Um, and you're gonna start breaking Let's manacles? See. I'm gonna start breaking, I'm gonna try and uh, get these people out. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, they, they look at you in confusion and you know, you start to break their manacles and some of them get up and like encourage the other people who are around them. Some of them just stay where they are. Well, let me be done about those. So. They're right. sacrificing themselves. And as you walk forward, you see there's one lone person. It's a woman who seems to be in, in, in various uh, stages of like golden, not gold, but golden looking um, uh, attire. And she has um, like very bronze, almost, almost dark, but very bronze skin, and she looks at you and she speaks to you in common. It's broken though, and very rough. It's like, she goes like, you not red robes, but you have red robes. We don't, uh, <laughs> let's describe to we this. We red robes uh, friends. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> she looks and she recoils back to you and like starts to back up a little bit. What did you say, I'm sorry? We red robes friends. Yeah, she recoils back to you and yeah, starts no, backing no, 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 I take, I take the robe <laughs> off and, and, and go like, no, no, we're not part of the red robes. I don't like red. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, see, blue, blue robes. Okay. I have four blue robes. Um, she just, just like shakes her head and she's, she's confused. She understands some of what you're saying, but not, not a lot of it. Okay, I'll try and I'll try and use all of my linguistic power and and speak very simply and just just uh, um, what brought you here? Uh, she she says she says she woke up and she was here. She remembers being carried from her home and she was in a cell, not like this one, but dark, scary, shiny and woke up the next day here. Mm. Mm. She says she's been here for years, years. And she tells stories, that's all she does, all the time, to the master, you know? Knowledge. And that's all she is, that's all her life has been, and she is tired of it. Could she take us to the master? Yes, she knows what. Wait, what's the uh, the dancer's name? Is it her? Oh, is it her? Cecilia? No, no, no. It's it's too different, broken. Different, different. Okay. So, it's uh, she has like um, she has yeah. like really hot, really very it's, it's hot makeup. But no, she has like really thick eyeliner that seems to be smeared and smudged over the areas. Her eyes are dark. So you know, this master appears to be collecting knowledge from around around our, our world. 
uh, knowledge that no one else knows. Um, and we need to wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think so. Uh, Do you want to get out of here? No. She says her, she, she, she died a long time ago when they brought her here. And she knows nothing else. Where would she go? You know. But, and I think, how am I going to wrap this up with, uh, <laughs> with, a, with a sitch? But you know what? But, you know, if you want to convince her, you could probably take her and all the other ones and try to escort them out of the ziggurat. Yeah. You know? And, uh, and those monkey men. You want to leave it at not knowing, well, actually, yeah, well, you, as, if, as you're talking to her, you hear the roar of an animal that is, uh, just shakes like the walls around you, and it's coming from the center of the ziggurat. And go, let's go. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, My goal was never to kill the master or whatever. We just wanted to free these people and get out. They're all. I mean, you you cleared up that they can make their own decisions if they want to leave or not. They have no idea how they would even leave. But you let's know. Lead them. But that's, it's up to you guys how you want to. How do you, how do you want to wrap this up? If you want to go into the center, and face the Zuggerator, or if you want to take all the people, and the the things that you've discovered and leave and spread them out into the world. I will I will say that both of those are valid and they both will yield different results. How would you like to do it? I am, as a collector of knowledge would and money, would like to go and sell this knowledge outside. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, and free the people and whatever. <laughs> right. So are you okay? So that you would like to free all the people and take them, take them out of the ziggurat. And Spud? sell knowledge. Yeah. Um, yeah, that seems to be the least dangerous thing. So let's do it. <laughs> uh, yes, and if there are any nice-looking animals along the way, we'll okay. free them too. Make hope jealous. All right, how about you, Garthok? I mean, I would like to fight some more, but I go with the will of the group. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll get the people out, then we'll come in and we'll kill him tomorrow. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's why we have spells. You know, so, when he has beefed up security because we just Good, then it'll be a challenge everything. for you. Yeah. So as you guys are going down the grand staircase and you continue to usher the people forward and through, you hear... Yeah stone crack as the front face of the showroom starts to split and a gigantic animal with a figure in its mouth shakes its head and charges through the wall of the ziggurat and starts streaming and stomping inside of the main hallway. So Whoa. it doesn't notice you as you guys can continue to, to port through. You know? yeah. Its vision is based on movement. <laughs> <laughs> it has stubby arms and a gigantic head with rows of teeth. What's he going to do with the goat? <laughs> <laughs> and you guys come out and you run through the hallway and um, probably, I'm, I don't, let's see if, the, if, this, if this stuff has cleared. Yeah, exactly. Um, there's still some remnants of green smoke when you open the door through the hallway again. Yeah. Tell, every, yeah, tell everyone to open their mouth. Okay. Yeah. And you yeah, bolt through, yeah. and you continue to feel the zuggeret as it shakes with each impact of the great creature, and you feel that the structural integrity of the building is starting to falter a little bit. Uh -oh. So, oh, and you guys go out, and I'm assuming you. What, what do you do to kind of do the door? Uh, oh, to open that door. Yeah. You take one press, of the press scrolls. Press the scroll if I can Okay, press the scroll again. So it opens for you easily. All right. And you walk out. And as you walk out, you notice that the two, two other of the, the, of the red robes are coming with, like, there's fog, and they're coming with, like, groceries, basically. Like coming with that. produce and other items. And they come up and they drop all of their, uh, their stuff as, as several... Hundred, uh, several like hundred feet down on the other end of the ziggurat, you see as like stone breaks through. Oh my god! And like, can I cleave them? Oh wait, no. Well, there's going to be a tyrannosaurus. And you guys, <laughs> you guys bolt out, but you, you, Whoa. it's like the building continues to shake, and as you leave, the ziggurat starts to like crumble in that? on itself. I think there was something stuck into the happening. man. You know. Oh yeah, that, before. And it, yeah. and it crumbles, and it cr and whatever was growing through it is it has rocks falling onto it as it like crushes it underneath the weight of the ziggurat, you know, as everything. Well, falls at least we saved parts. some people before. <laughs> you got you saved the people the, as you go through. We saved some people, but if there was a, a 
entrance to another plane, that still hasn't been closed up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that sounds like someone. And you guys problem. escape Maybe. with lots of new people who have never seen a world like this ever before. How? But Are the any of them cute? is destroyed. Yay! Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I did it! Did, did we win? <laughs> did you win, or did you? Did, are you maybe no better than the master by wanting to sell the knowledge that they've given upon you in their own? But he rights? wasn't going to sell it. So oh, wow. he was hoarding it. He was hoarding it. Yeah. Did you guys have an you, adventure? I'm free. Yes. Yeah. Did you guys have an adventure? Yes. yes. We took the green <laughs> ending. <laughs> you took yes. Thank you. You took the green ending. I, I cut off an ear. Um, yeah. And when you yeah, put it back, you. and you Basically, put it, oh uh, no, yeah, no, no, no. Some rich guy Climactic, killed a bunch of his servants. It's fine. Uh, uh, it's the point is, is that there will always be another opportunity for more adventure in the future. This is one mission that you guys came in looking to just escort uh, a couple of merchants through it, and you ended up um, discovering a new world in which a man was collecting knowledge and holding people hostage to tell them stories. Yeah, you, say, uh, the master of the ziggurat can't come after us at some point in the future. Who's to say? Who's to say that it, even that creature that was barging through the ziggurat is even dead? I mean, yes, an entire mountain may have fallen on God. top of it. Godzilla. Uh, but who knows if it's, if it's alive or if the master is dead at all. Mm. So it might these be. These questions and more. These questions and more. <laughs> and maybe you can find out if whether we play Pathfinder or another session or another game as we continue to go through. This is part of role playing, is you might not necessarily get to everything that you meant to in the game, but as long as everyone has a good time. Did you guys have a good time? Yes. 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 And as long as you got to have an adventure with your friends, that's all this is really about, because that's all role playing is, is having a couple of friends telling a good story and playing playing a role. Yay. Yay. So until next time. Oh. Let's Dungeon! Let's Dungeon. Oh. Let's dungeon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's a, that's a two with a negative one. Uh, so, one. Right, so Garthok, in a moment of, of, of pure comedy, oh, runs up ah. and he tries to do his most badass leap over the horse, <laughs> only to get half a foot off I the ground. I slip on the blood. <laughs> yeah. And tumbles, and you're prone. So you're gonna have to get. You're gonna take a turn to get up. Yeah.